Here we have an Asus mining motherboard that came in for repair locally. Customer brought the board that needs to be fixed and he also brought us a donor board. It looks like there's a burned SATA connection here and he wants it replaced. Let's take a look at the connector here and see what's going on. Oh yeah, you see? So we have one more here and this one is good, this one is good, this one is good. But this one is not good. This connector is a through hole and if we flip the board, the connector is, where's the connector? Right here. That's the connector from the back. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pins. The easiest way to desolder this connector is to use low melt solder and that's what we're going to do. We're going to use the magic of low melt solder. First thing we want to do is apply flux. And we're going to use a stick of low melt solder. The container comes with six sticks. And just a tiny bit of low melt solder goes a long way. So six sticks will last you a while. I have a small stick left here. The sticks are about three and a half inches long. And you can find low melt solder on our site. We are one of the major suppliers of low melt solder. Look at this. Right now, Lomel solder mixed with unleaded, and you can see the pin moving already. And look at this. And look at this. <laughs> and look at this. I mean, Lomel solder honestly is one of the best inventions. Right now what we can do is we can apply a little bit of hot air and pull on that connector from bottom of the board. And that connector should come right off. Okay, watch. I'm gonna grab that connector from the bottom and just apply a tiny bit of hot air. Just apply a tiny bit of hot air. Okay, and you see how low mat solder liquefied. And I'm gonna pull on that connector from the bottom. And that connector is loose. Connector is up, right there. Now we're gonna clean solder from the holes. That board is wobbling, so you're gonna see the board go out of focus, in and out, in and out. But what can you do? And wake that solder right off, just like that. And we're all good. Let's clean up. Let's take a look at the front of the board. And the front looks like this. Now we should only have three connectors. One, two, three. And the burned one is gone. All right, now we're gonna grab that connector from the donor board. Let's put this one on the side. And we have a donor right here.
we're gonna remove this connector and right now we're not gonna use low melt solder let's see how long it takes to remove that connector and my station is currently at 500 degrees celsius i'm gonna heat up from the bottom so we do not burn that connector and let's see how long it takes at 500 degrees that's the maximum temperature the hot air station can output and let's see we may end up using low melt solder if we're not able to get this connector off in a reasonable time but you can see why low melt solder is important and it makes the job a lot easier I mean 500 degrees right now on the bottom 500 degrees and the connector is still solid The connector is still solid. I mean, I can feel the heat on that board right now. It's a thick board. And right now, I do not think that we're going to be able to remove that connector within a reasonable time if we do not use low melt. Impossible. That's one thick board. And it's going to take a long time before we can remove that connector. I mean, you're talking roughly 7 to 12 layer board. So the board is going to absorb all that heat before solder liquefy. The board is burning hot. I think we have a ghost in our shop, honestly, because I just used low melt solder and I put it on the bench. Now I cannot find it. Unbelievable. I just used low melt solder. I did not go anywhere. Unbelievable. I cannot find it. I found it. The ghost put it back. That's what happened. They just used it, used a tiny bit, and they put it back. That's okay. Sharing is caring. Finally, this one here. Right, and now let's try to apply heat and remove that connector. And it's already coming off. It's already coming off. And the connector is out. Let's move this motherboard on the side and let's grab the customer's board. Right now I flip the board and my finger is pressing on the connector so it doesn't fall down. I just want to be able to solder a pin or two and then I'll let go. Right here. We're going to apply some flux. I'm going to let go of the connector and we're going to do the rest. But we have to change our tip to something smaller. Let's get rid of the glare. All 
Right, and the job is done. And the job is done. All right, so that's it. We replaced the connector and the job is done. We're gonna call the customer to come and pick up and we're gonna end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll do something else in the next video.